In each of these examples, I'm going to combine multiple signed numbers. So I'm going to need to be very careful using correct order of operations and then combine signs if possible. So let's look at part A. I have negative 20 minus 20 plus a negative 10. So I'm going to start before I do anything and I'm going to reconcile any signs that I can and remove any parentheses that I can. So I can remove the parentheses here because there's no uh, sign out front. There's no parentheses in front of the second 20 and then plus a negative I can reconcile those signs. So now if I think about number line movement if I'm at negative 20 and I subtract 20 that means I'm going to go left 20 and subtract 10 I'm going to go left 10. But Let's do these one at a time. Negative 20 minus 20 that gives me negative 40 minus 10. So notice I'm going to keep writing the things I haven't addressed yet. So if I'm at negative 40 on the number line and I subtract 10, I'm going to go to the left 10. So that's going to give me a final result of negative 50. In this example, I am going to start by reconciling my signs. I always do that because it just makes life that much easier. So that one's going to become a plus this one is going to become a minus. So that's going to be 8 plus 3 plus 4 minus 3 minus 2. So I'm just going to take these two at a time because left to right, PEMDAS tells me to do addition and subtraction in the order they appear. So this would be 11 if I take the 8 plus 3 and then I'll continue plus 4 minus 3 minus 2 then the next two would be 15 minus 3 minus 2. Then 15 minus 3 would give me 12 minus 2 for a final result of 10. And again, you can check these on your calculator and I highly recommend it. Just be sure that you include all of the parentheses and the signs that you see here and double check if you get the same result.